Congratulations on your super growing career. I mean, you sold out a 40,000 seat stadium in Accra yeah. recently. Yeah. How was that? It's a great feeling. It's a memorable day. It's a moment that actually inspires a, a lot of us. So that tells you that the love is huge. But I can never take that moment for granted. So I'm always working towards giving them concerts of quality mm -hmm. that can represent Ghana mm -hmm. better. Tell me about your outfit here. This jacket says 1957. Yeah. Your glasses. Actually, I hope that we can see your eyes. At of some course, point. of course. Of oh, course. there he is. Red there eyes. You know, say <laughs> burning fire. You know. Yeah, man. What about your jacket? My jacket, um, this is a piece made by a very lovely um, lady designer. She's a Ghanaian and this speaks a lot. 1957 is actually the year that Ghana got its independence, you know, as announced, as publicized on the 6th of March by Kwame Nkrumah. So that's why I'm wearing, mm -hmm. representing, you know, for the culture. Yes. And it speaks over here, it has one of his quotes, he said, I am not African because I was born in Africa, but I am African because Africa was or is born inside of me, you know, so That's words of Kwame Nkrumah. So when we were together in Ghana in 2019, mm -hmm. we had a nice long conversation and you told me about your annual festival in Ashaiman. Mm -hmm. Is that still going on? Very much going on. It's a 10 year old charity event that's been going on to actually change the narrative of the community where I'm from and to grow the entertainment scene and to throw lights on a lot of good things that are happening in the community and the positive stuff there be through entertainment. You released Fifth Dimension last year, your fifth album. And also you just came straight from the Cali Vibes Festival, right? Wicked. What? So Los Angeles is now really showing you some big love. Showing a lot of love. Well, how LA. was that? It's amazing because it's in LA that I picked up my first award, global award, like Best International Artist Africa at the BETs in 2015. And so right from there, I've known that, bro, the side of love that I got in the street from, you know, my peoples was huge. And then from that time till now, you can just imagine, I went back there, I did that, it was nice. I did the Boom Yard stage with, uh, with the Kabaka Pyramid, Black Hero, my very good reggae dancer friend Sean Paul, yeah. Chi Ching Ching was right there, Kai Kaylan there, like beautiful moments. Yeah. yeah. So how was Rolling Coco? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That's like, oh my days. Yeah. Connecting to your own people like outside of home brings another feeling. Mm. You know, the nostalgic effects, the kind of songs that I have and perform re real life songs and they can always relate brings memories and you can see it in their faces that they're connecting to the message so deeply. So, yeah. I mean, I can't take those moments for granted and as a musical messenger, I know that it's, it's really important to be able to